Hey Bookaholics, this is Isabel and welcome to another video. So today is another episode in my Book of Love series. This time I'm going to be talking about books with no romance. So after so many videos of romantic kind of topics, I really wanted to go into something that didn't involve romance. Romance is definitely not for everyone and I think that deserves a recognition during this Books of Love series because there are so many readers out there and not everyone likes having the romance in there. So I wanted to make a video dedicated to all the books that I would recommend for people who don't like books with romance in them. So yeah, I have 13 books here for you, so let's just get right into it. The first book I'll recommend to you guys today is This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. So this is a duology and it follows in this city that is divided between this two different leaders. One leader is Kate Hawker's father, one of the main characters, and the other is the father of August Flynn, the other main character. And in this city, the city of monsters, uh, monsters are created through bad intentions, stabbing, robbing people, all that, and that creates a different kind of monster. It's more of a commentary on how violent our world is and how violent this world is especially and how that creates violence which creates more violence which creates more so like it's just like a cyclical um situation that is in here with all the monsters so it just follows as these two characters are kind of conflicted with whether she wants to become like her father or whether August wants to become like her father or how they're going to interact in this city that is full of monsters so yeah, it's an interesting concept. Honestly, it's kind of hard to explain, but I really enjoyed this and I especially enjoyed it because there wasn't really a concentration on romance. The second book, there's not really a romance in there, but it's kind of leading towards that. Um, but it's not like a big part of the plot. The next one I'd recommend is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. So this one is a middle grade book and I think it's one of the most powerful books I've ever read and also one of the most powerful movies I've ever watched because it takes this concept, this simple innocent concept of like storytelling and turns it into a way for this character, this main character, to figure out how he fits in the world when his mom has cancer and what he's going to do after that, how he can actually get his mind around that. And it's just a fascinating novel that really goes into grief and acceptance and losing your mom honestly like it's it's such a powerful book it definitely doesn't have any romance in it it does have some bullying and grief and all that but no romance so hopefully you guys enjoyed that the next one i'll recommend to you guys is challenger deep by neil schusterman so this one is such a wonderful and psychological book like it really dives into the schizophrenia mental illness so perfectly um it does it in a way that it's kind of confusing but that's kind of the point it follows a boy named Caden who is kind of in two different worlds. He is in the one world where he's in middle school and then he's also in this other world where he is on a pirate ship and sailing through the seas. So you're following him in these two different worlds as he's trying to navigate his own and figure out his own mind kind of thing. So yeah, it's very, very powerful, very intense and I'd highly recommend it. The next one I'll recommend is Renegades by Marissa Mayer. So this one has a bit of a romance in it but it's not like even a main plot and it's not even in the first book. There's a hint to it but there's no actual follow-through towards that. So yeah this one is a superhero novel. It follows um, Nova and Adrian as they're on separate sides of this war between superheroes. We have Adrian on the good side and we have Nova who is in the underground with the villains. So it just follows as she infiltrates the renegades and tries to take them down from the inside. So it's such an enjoyable series. I honestly loved it so much 
The third book was definitely my least favorite and unfortunately the ending I didn't really care for but otherwise this whole series was fantastic and I loved it. The next one, I haven't read the second book in this duology but I would recommend Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. So Six of Crows, there is definitely hints of romance in here. I'm not too sure if that changes within Crooked Kingdom, but in Six of Crows, there's definitely not like a focus on romance in here. Um, we follow six different characters. They're all kind of outcasts and they are propositioned to do this heist and capture this one person who they want to take out of this really unpenetrable prison and it just follows as they're trying to do this, trying to work together. There's really no like main plot of romance in this book so if you want to give it a try definitely do it. The next one I'd recommend is Scythe Series by Neil Shusterman. So again this one has a hint of a romance between the two main characters but there's no real follow-through and it's not like a main point of the plot. But this one, it follows this world where um, they have figured out how to make people immortal and to pretty much just like solve all of the problems in their world but in order to um, control population they have these people known as the Scythes who will pick and choose who will die. So we have these two characters who are made apprentices as Scythes and they are kind of matched together to become the next Scythe of this world. So it's a very fascinating novel, very fascinating series. The next one I'd recommend is Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. So this one honestly is such a wonderful book and there is barely any romance. The only kind of love that is in here is platonic love. We follow these two characters. We follow Frances and Alid. Frances is the head girl at her school. She's very into getting great grades. She's into making sure that she's like the perfect daughter, but she's also a fangirl of this podcast called Universe City. It follows as she creates like fan art for this podcast and she is approached by the creator of Universe City to be the fan art artist of his podcast. She slowly realizes who this person is and they become friends and there's no romance between them which I absolutely love. It just follows as they become great friends and I think that's such a wonderful kind of premise to take because not all friends that are between boys and girls are gonna end up romantic, you know? They can't be platonic so I really like how this book takes that way of presenting this story. The next one I recommend is Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. So this one, I can't remember if it has any romance. I don't think it does. And if it does, it's very little and doesn't really affect the plot much. But this one follows three characters who learn that they are biologically related. So each of these characters, one was part of the foster system, one had just given birth and gave up her child for up for adoption, and the other one is a part of this family that she doesn't really feel like she belongs to. And they all have the same mother and they find out because the girl who was pregnant wants to find her mother and kind of get advice for her giving up her own kid. It just follows as these three siblings come together, get to know each other, and learn how to be a family. It's such a powerful story. There was definitely some parts of it that pulled me out because I wasn't too sure if I believed it, but other than that, honestly, it was such a great book. It was so wonderful to follow and I love the sibling aspect of it. Don't think there was much romance in it. The next one I have for you today is a intense book that you really need to have the right headspace to read it. And that's Sadie by Courtney Summers. This one is a very powerful and yet very intense and really dives into topics that is hard to read, but it's such a wonderful book. It's... That's not moving anymore. Something's going wrong with my TV, so we'll just have to deal with no fireplace today, I guess. Um, so Sadie, it's a very, very intense novel. Um, I would definitely recommend reading the audiobook for this because it does go back and forth between following the main character Sadie and a podcast. This one I feel like you should definitely go in blind as much as possible because 
it is intense, but just know that there are some trigger warnings in here. There's trigger warnings for death, there's trigger warnings for um, rape, and for sexual abuse of children. So it deals with some tough topics in here. So definitely no romance though. So that's something to look forward to, I guess. But yeah, I'd highly recommend this one. It's very intense. The next book I'd recommend is How to Make Friends with the Dark by Kathleen Glasgow. So at the very beginning, there's a little bit of romance, but it's nothing that deals with the plot. It's just like the first part of the story before we get into the main plot. So Definitely no romance after that, but this one follows a girl who loses her mom and she had an argument with her right before. So she's dealing with the fact that she was arguing with her mom, deals with the fact that now she doesn't have a mom and she's going to the foster system and really has no family of her own and is pretty much picked out of her world that she always known and puts into another world that she has no idea how to deal with. This one's also a very intense book, very, very sad and deals with grief in such an authentic and genuine way and I absolutely loved it and I would highly recommend it. The next book I'd recommend is Wonder by RJ Palacio. This one is a middle grade book as well and it follows a boy named August Pullman who has a face disfigurement and he's going to school for the first time and he is confronted with new things that he hasn't had to deal with before like bullying and meeting new kids and trying to navigate this whole world known as school. So it's such a wonderful and powerful book and definitely one that I would recommend kids to read especially because it deals with bullying and I think reading something like this and understanding that even if someone is different it doesn't make them any less valuable and it honestly makes them someone who you should actually get to know because they might end up being your best friends. So yeah, I really, really love this book and especially since it's middle grade, there's no romance at all. The next book I'd recommend to you guys is Cat and Meg Conquer the World by Anna Permaza. So it follows these two characters, Cat and Meg, as they are kind of forced into this situation where they are science partners and so they're supposed to work on this project for the rest of the year and they start to get to know each other and they become best friends and there's a bit of a subplot of romance for one of them but it's not like a big thing and it ends up being something that strengthens the relationship between the two best friends so honestly it is like a perfect kind of romance plot because it was necessary to strengthen this bond between them so yeah i especially love this book because it deals with girl friendships and how strong and powerful that can be so yeah i really especially love this book and it was great and the last book i'll recommend to you guys today is vicious by v.e schwab this one definitely doesn't have romance in it. I'm not too sure about the second one because I haven't read it yet, but this one does not have any romance in it and might have like even like a hint of one, but it's like not a healthy relationship and it's clearly not one. So I wouldn't necessarily put that as a romance in here. It's just like there's a relationship going on that isn't the best so yeah um i really really enjoyed this book it's written so well and the plot is so fascinating and the characters are so wonderful to follow because you're just like kind of like what the hell are you doing now <laughs> but it's such a wonderful book i honestly loved it and I would highly recommend it. All right, so that is the last book I'll recommend to you guys today. Those are all the books that have no romance that I would recommend to you guys. Sometimes my favorite books are romance and sometimes I just don't need that in my life, you know? You just don't wanna deal with that, you don't wanna read it, so you wanna find something that doesn't have romance, that doesn't deal with that. Having these recommendations will help some of you hopefully find a book that won't have romance and won't remind you of Valentine's Day and won't give you those awful feelings of gooeyness. So yeah, <laughs> um, hoping you guys found something worthwhile in my list today and let me know your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you guys in a new video. Bye!